Dota has invisible lines everywhere on the map, from the start of you joining the game until the very end where your ancient falls. Did you know this? Well, if not, then welcome to the right video. So what these lines do is they represent the map control you have and the zones that you're allowed to play in. The closer you get to the line and the edges of the line, the more you are playing with fire. This is a game from TI-11, Tundra versus Secret. If we look at it from 3-3's perspective, he could choose to go left right now. He's gonna be across the line and he can die here. Now, he's like, yeah, I can't go here, I need to go this way. Even here, when he is halfway through the staircase, he knows that he's going to be in danger because as we already showed, he will be on the line. And when the closer you get, the more in danger you are. Secret are smoked. 3-3 in the middle of the stairs, he turns around, he walks the other way. And now remember that this line, it counts, it's for both teams at the same time. So the moment that Secret are going to commit for a play that is across this line, they will die instead. So here, because 3-3 backs off correctly, he doesn't cross the line, he goes back. Now Zayats, aka Secret, they still get baited to go across the line. They're going to be the ones dying. But if the Enigma gets caught here and then kicked back to his Gyra and Zeus, he would be the one to die instead. But he understands the line, they play around it perfectly, and they kill him instead. What we're going to be looking at here is how a good team fight or getting a couple kills, how that can move the line for you. Right now, secret, they don't really see anything of Tundra because they're all in fog. And once again, every moment, every second that you are around this crucial line or... You know, the more you are around it or beyond it, you're going to risk yourself dying. So here again, slightly above the line, which is going to allow them to get this first kill. What's important is going to be what happens after, because this is what you need to do in your pub games as well to get ahead and change the state of the map. Because it can be done by a single player or the whole team or by small instances of gameplay as to how you extend the, li the lines of the map and how you move them. So eventually Tundra, they do get to kill Secret in their own jungle and they force them back. Now, after you win a teamfight or when you kill heroes, you naturally get to push the lines back into the enemy. Tundra suddenly, they get to push in mid lane all the way. Bam, it moves over here. Top lane moves all the way over here. They are pushing their line completely opposite of the way. So simply because of one like single fight and a single play, the line has completely changed. And this is why like small kills here or there or getting two kills in a team fight and moving aggressively and knowing where to move forward on the map can make such a big difference in the minutes to come. This is Liquid versus Secret. Liquid have been behind the whole game. Secret are dominating. This, this map is not looking good for Team Liquid. Simply time alone is gonna change the map space that Liquid are allowed to play in. So if you're Matu in this case, he, what he wants to do right now, he sees Beastmaster top. Secret have had the complete dominance the last few minutes. So he sees the Drought top, he sees the Beastmaster top. So he's like, okay, I'm going to kill this camp. I'm going to farm the bottom wave. And then I want to refarm my Ancients because I don't really have any space on the map, right? The thing is, simply just time can change the lines of where you're allowed to play. Because if we just pay attention to the next 30 seconds, they are not seeing Secret. You see Creeps top and Axes, sure. But during all this time, Secret are owning this and this. But with every second that passes by, if Secret want to because they are so strong, every second that passes by where they are not showing, the line will continuously start to shrink and shrink and shrink even more. You don't see them top. You don't see them middle. Bottom is pushed in all the way. It is all on Secret. So just time is going to push the line right now. And even now, I think Matu is starting to play with fire already, which is why Boxy is here to like try and you know stay around for him. But he's like, I'm down AK gold. I need to farm some creeps, but it doesn't matter. They're already here. The line just 30 seconds later, simply because Liquid don't have the information and don't really have the power and the capacity to push waves more. Just because they don't see Team Secret and time is passing, their lines are just shrinking even more because Secret can move around the map and make it hard. Now, the game is just really hard for Matu. I have my assistant here to help me with the outro. So she wants to say thank you all for watching the video. If you learned something, that's great. Subscribe to learn even more. 
subscribe below and I'll see you guys in the next one.